just explain um, how we first got into my motorcycling and biking. That would be great. Okay. Well, um, I first started motorcycling when I was 16 um, with my moped. Uh, as I grew up, the bikes got bigger and bigger. And what really started is the my wife joining Susan joining me was um, we was on holiday in Croatia one year and um, an English motorbike went by and Susan turned around to me and says, "Oh, can't we uh, come on holiday on your motorbike?" And uh, I went, "I'm game." And that was in 2007. Since then. We have about three or four holidays a year on the motorbike. Um, so what was your first bike? My first bike was a Honda MB5. That was uh, the first 50cc that was built, truly restricted to 30 miles an hour. So did you really enjoy that bike? Loved it, <laughs> loved it. Because we, as a child, me and my friend at weekends always went out on our push bikes and it would take us all day to ride from Dudley to Bridge North, Kinver and home again. And when we were 16, we both had the mopeds and was doing the journey in an hour, you know. And, oh, what do we do now, you know? So we gradually got further and further and went into Wales. And then we started taking a tent with us and spending the weekends away. That was, no, it was an experience, yeah. yeah. So what do you most enjoy about biking? Oh, um, freedom. Um, I I prefer to be on two wheels than four. So, you know, even though you've got a crash helmet on, you're still in the outside world as opposed to in a cabin. Um, and I'm just I'm just enjoy the thrill of you know getting into the bends and the corners and. It's just nice and relaxing for me. You you get relaxed, don't you? Yeah. 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 And it's um, something that we. Uh, do together. It's something we do together yes. and we enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. She enjoys being on the back and I enjoy riding and yeah. So how often do you go out riding on the bikes? We it we use the bike as the main form of transport. Um so if we even if we're going shopping we'll use the bike. If we're just going to Birmingham we'll use a bike. And um, if we're going away to see our sons, we'll use the bike. Or days out at weekends when the weather's better, but we we go away. For we use it for holidays. We use it ho well, we, we, all our holidays on motorbike. Um, so the, the April holiday is used in the UK. The May holiday could be Ireland, as it has been in the past, um, and then in the summer we have a three-week holiday where we go touring, and we just. As we get older, we're getting more adventurous. Yeah. So when did you, what, well, what first attracted you to the wheel rider app? I think I, I don't know where I've seen it. Um, bike show. Was it the bike show? I think it might have been at the bike show, um, and it was a sign up. I like the idea because me and my wife do a lot of riding on our own, and it was just that thought of peace of mind that you've got something in your pocket that, as we have done, we, me and my wife, we have come off bikes several times, and um, it, it's just that peace of mind that if you are unconscious, something will come out to you, you know, and you're not, you're not abandoned, you know? So, what are your experiences with the Real Rider app and Real Safe? The, the one experience I had where it uh, activated was we was in a remote part of Scotland. The um, sat nav had taken us down a country stroke farm track road, and we we was going down this road, and all of a sudden um, I misjudged a rut, and the bike just came to a complete stop, and we got thrown off of it. And due to some of the training we had, I, I couldn't see where my wife was, but I wanted to lead by example, and I just told her to just to lie still, don't don't suddenly get up, just wait, wait. And because I knew she'd be watching me, I, I purposely just stayed there. You know, I felt fine in myself, but I waited and, and I, was, I wanted her to settle and get over the shock. Um, I 
I've been off a bike more times than my wife has, so, you know, um, and, and all of a sudden I've just got this vibration in my pocket, and I'll scrabble, scrabble, get it out, and, oh, crash detected, oh, you know, yes, I'm fine, press the button, cancel. Um, and so, the fact that it worked on, on, on like that, that's, it now shows us peace of mind, and always ride with it in my pocket, yeah. So how does that make you feel? Safe. Yeah, for, uh, for me as a passenger, um, as I was saying to Paul when, when we came off the bike, um, it gives you this, this uh, as Paul has said, peace of mind as um, what if. And as a passenger, I think that's really, really important that you, you um, when we do spend a lot of time just on our own on the bike and we are in some quite remote places, yeah. that um, it's this, um, removes this sense of fear, although obviously you still need to be alert, but removes this sense of fear that, that if you do come off, um, there is an emergency response um, that will, will locate and help us. Mm -hmm. I mean, because some of the best biking roads are not on the main roads. No, they're not. They are remote. Um, you know, we do so like that. That's why we like riding bike. Well, you ride the bike on the passenger, yeah. but it is this sense of freedom. Um, but that comes with um, concern and a little bit of worry, particularly as a passenger, because I can't see what you can see, and you're in more control than me. But th there is this. Just yeah, remember that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? So, uh, for me, peace of mind um, is a great thing. Um, yeah, um, would you recommend a Real Safe subscription and the Real Rider app to a friend or another biker that you know? Absolutely. Um, yeah. I, I have explained our situation at work because um, quite a, a lot of um, colleagues that I work with are not bike riders, but it is something that they would be interested in, um, in taking up as a, as a hobby. Um, particularly because they're, they're the same age range as ourselves and our children have grown up and so have theirs have as well. So the, um, the ability to explore further avenues in terms of holidays because they're quite interested in, in where we go. Um, they have the same question, well what happens if you come off, aren't you scared, aren't you frightened? So it is uh, explaining that no, you don't necessarily have to be on your own and so but for me, I have I have um, signposted my colleagues, definitely. And I've always promoted it to, we, we go out, we'll go out in groups sometimes, we'll go on an iron ride sometimes, and um, I will, look, have you seen this? Have you have you heard about this app, you know? And and I, I, I tell them my experience with it, and, and it's the reason for doing this today, you know, because we feel strongly that it's a, it's a good app and mm. we would like to see it grow. Yeah. Um, what bike do you ride at the moment? At the moment now, our main bike is a Honda Goldwing. It's, um, it's the second one we've had. Um, so we've been riding a Goldwing now for... Eight. 2008 we yeah. bought the first one. Mm. So we've got seven years, coming up to eight years, riding a Goldwing. Um, it's built for what we use it for, which is touring, and uh, it's ideal for passenger as well. So, you know, we've travelled far and wide on it, you know, so, yeah, fully recommend a Goldwing. That's great, thanks.